Today I want to talk about the new flyaway cover that DJI have added to Key Refresh for the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic A2. This cover is available to both existing Key Refresh users as well as new Key Refresh users in the future. However, there are some things you need to know and you must activate this new cover in advance or you won't be eligible. Now in this video I'm going to walk you through what this new flyaway cover is, how much it costs and then later on I'm going to show you how to activate actually activate it to make sure that it is available to be claimed on should something happen. Now just before we get on with this video I want to say if you find it useful please do consider hitting that subscribe button. The majority of people who watch my channel are not subscribers so if you find it interesting, you find it useful or helpful hit the subscribe button and please hit the little bell as well and give us a like. Finally there will be a link to the new K refresh as well as the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic A2 in the description of this video as well. They are affiliate links but by you guys using them allow me to keep making videos like this in the future. Anyway let's get on with it and let's take a look at what this new flyaway cover is all about and how to actually make sure you're covered on it. This week DJI have tweaked the K refresh packages for the Mavic Mini 2 and Mavic A2 and added a new flyaway cover. Now this flyaway cover has been added for free of charge. There is no additional cost on the actual K refresh package itself. However, there is a fee to actually get your replacement aircraft, which we'll talk about a little bit more in this video. Now, K refresh is basically an insurance policy that allows you to get up to two replacement aircraft should you damage yours. It's been available for a number of years and for a small fee up front at the point of purchase or within a short period of time of buying, you are able to cover your aircraft should the worst case happen. Now DJI would usually allow you to get up to two replacements for a small fee as part of the package. However, one downside for Kay was the fact that you always actually had to send your aircraft back to get a replacement. It was not a loss protection. It didn't really matter how poor a condition your aircraft was in. You had to actually have it though to send it to DJI to get coverage. Now Kay has been compared to many other insurances that have been out there and there are others on the market including ones from State Farm and others and many people have felt it didn't really give the same level of protection the others have done and this is likely the reason DJI have added this new flyaway cover as part of these policies. Now as I have already said it is only right now for the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic A2. The reality of that is that they are likely DJI's most reliable aircraft and the chances of flyaways on these is so remote it's not something Thing that's going to give DJI some major problems with huge numbers but it is nice that they have added this to the existing package at basically no cost. Now this new flyaway protection from DJI is available in the USA, Europe as well as the UK and it has been added to existing K refresh policy holders for the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic A2 as well as people who purchase it in the future as well. However there is something you need to be very aware of and that is you must activate this flyaway protection separately compared to the standard K refresh. For you to be eligible to actually get coverage under this you must have bound your remote controller to your DJI account before you have an incident. You will not be able to do that after you had a flyaway for instance and you wouldn't be covered. So if you are an existing K refresh owner on a Mavic Mini 2 or Mavic A2 you need to go in and activate this policy now to get coverage otherwise if something was to go wrong you wouldn't be covered. For new users who buy K refresh it isn't clear if they're going to activate it as part of the policy or you're going to have to activate it separately as well. It remains to be seen how DJI is going to handle that. Now at the end of this video I'm going to walk you through how to actually activate it to make sure you know how to do it and I'll also put a link to doing that in the description of this video as well. Now the next thing we're going to do is jump and just take a look at some of the costs of both getting your K refresh replacements for these two models as well as what it costs to actually get a replacement under this flyaway cover. 
Okay, so jumping over and taking a look at the costs. Now, this new Key Refresh Flyaway replacement cover is available in the USA, Europe, and the UK as well. If we just take a quick look in the US and on the Mavic Mini 2 and the Mavic A2 that this new option is with, Key would cost $49 at the point of purchase with the Mavic Mini 2 or $79 on the Mavic A2. They allow you to get up to two replacements as standard. The first replacement costing $49 on the Mavic Mini 2 and $59 on the second replacement. And on the A2, it would be $69 and $99 respectively. Now, this is substantially cheaper than buying a replacement aircraft and it would save you between $390 and $400 on the Mavic Mini 2 and around $720, $730 on the Mavic A2. Now, as I've said, they have now given you the option of this free flyaway replacement. And when I say free, I mean you do not have to give them any money up front for this coverage. However, just like the other parts of Care Refresh, there is a fee to getting your replacement aircraft. And on the Mavic Mini 2, that fee is $225. And on the Mavic A2, it's $399. That's a saving on the Mavic Mini 2 of $224 compared to buying yourself a replacement or $400 on the Mavic A2. Now, just something to be aware of as this flyaway replacement cover is only allowed to be claimed once. Once you have claimed it, that is it. You are not allowed to claim on it again. Now, just to show you the cost savings compared to um, some of the other options that would be available to you, it will save you $351 on a loss, including the cost of the care up front, or about $175 on a flyaway, or on the Mavic Mini 2, sorry, on the Mavic A2, $651 to $331. Moving over to the UK, this is still available as well, and the savings are pretty much the same. The big thing here is it's £209 for a replacement Mavic Mini 2 and £379 for a Mavic A2. In Europe, things are much the same. €229 Euros for a flyaway replacement on the Mini 2 and €409 Euros on the Mavic A2. Now, these figures and the info is based on the one year key refresh protection. There are some changes if you have the two year policy as well as the key refresh plus, and they actually allow you to have more replacements and more models under the flyaway protection. But under the standard one year policy, it is two claims for damage and one claim for flyaway. Now, as I have actually said, this has been included for free, but you need to activate the flyaway protection before you can actually use it or claim for it. Now to do this you need to actually register your remote controller with the DJI Go app. You will need to make sure that you have the latest Go app from DJI to be able to do this. On iOS you can download it from the iOS store. However on Android the latest DJI apps are not on the Play Store. You will need to go to the DJI website and download those apps directly. Right now DJI have not been updating the apps that are available on the Play Store. We don't really know the reason for that that might change in the future but here and now you will need to download the latest fly app from dji directly now just to show you what you actually need to do on this activation moving over to the desktop dji have some information on this on their guides and i will put a link to this in the description of the video if you scroll down they talk a little bit about calculating your service fee replacement times and here they show you how to activate the coverage by binding and what they actually say is you need to bind your remote controller to your dji account. To do this, you need to enter profiles, device management, dev accounts and devices, and tap the bind to account option. Now you need to do this as per what it shows you on the screen. And once it is done, you have then activated your key refresh package to include the flyaway protection. Now, one last thing I just want to stress on this binding process is it must be done before you lose your aircraft. You will not be able to do the binding process with just your remote controller should you have already lost your aircraft. You must do it in advance, otherwise they will not cover you for the flyaway protection. Now, it is an interesting addition, this from DJI. It 
basically has been added for free to existing users. And if you bind your remote and your account to DJI, you will then have this free flyaway coverage. I'm going to be watching closely how this one actually goes over time and how people find this actually is to claim because it is something new and it'll be interesting to see the experience that people get. As I've said, whilst it isn't a free replacement, it still offers a substantial saving over other options that you had before unless you took something out like a state farm policy now just talking about state farm slightly they are a company in the us that do offer insurance and i believe it's around 75 to 80 dollars and they will give you full coverage as well if that is available that would be a much cheaper option overall than care refresh because my understanding with state farm is that there is no cost to the actual replacement itself and it's about 80 dollars up front however that isn't available in all regions for all people and it certainly isn't available in the uk care refresh is a decent offering overall and for fairly low money at the point of purchase you are getting the option to get two fairly cheap replacements and should the absolute worst case happen you will be able to pay a fee and save about 50% compared to the cost of replacing the aircraft itself now the pricing i have shown in this is for the aircraft and remote controller it isn't the fly more combos for instance they would be dearer i've only priced it as single aircraft and whilst you would get another aircraft with a remote controller you're not really going to be selling that remote controller for much money on its own if you did buy a new aircraft to try and recover money it's just not worth doing now for me i honestly think it's okay it's decent coverage I wouldn't out and out say it's the best in the world but if you're a current key refresh user I think it's an absolute bargain that is there for free go in today and activate it and make sure that you do activate it properly and then you've got that coverage and at least if the worst case happens for about 50% of the cost of a new one you will get another aircraft anyway that's it for this video if it's been useful as I asked at the start please do consider hitting the subscribe button please let me know what you think about this new key refresh in the comments if you have any questions if you have any comments or if you think i've got something wrong please do put it in i try to answer as many questions as i can on all of the videos i put out on my channel finally if you're interested in joining me i usually do a live stream on a friday night so please do check that out as well there is links to the mavic mini 2 the mavic a2 and k refresh in the description of this video as well they are affiliate links as i've already said but by you guys using them allow me to keep making content like this Anyway, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching and I will update you guys on any new info when it comes out.